on June 7, 2023, the Agni Prime missile underwent a pre-induction test conducted by the Defense Research and Development Organization. The Prime is a medium-range, road-mobile ballistic missile and uses solid fuel. It can go from 1,200 to 2,000 kilometers. It's the most accurate missile India has. But its range is not a big change since Agni-5 can already go over 7,000 kilometers. What's important about the Prime is how well it can hit its target and its new features. This has made foreign experts worry that India might be aiming to hit the other side's nuclear weapons during a fight, which changes how India uses its nuclear weapons. But here's a twist, it looks like its real job of the missile might be very different from what people are saying. While the publicly available information does not explicitly confirm that the Agni Prime is designed as an ASBM, the features and capabilities mentioned align with the requirements of an anti-ship ballistic missile. The Prime is equipped with a maneuverable re-entry vehicle that is capable of changing course from the original ballistic trajectory. This feature holds significance for an ASBM as it enhances the missile's ability to evade ship-based defenses. On June 28, 2021, DRDO successfully test-fired Agni Prime, carrying two MIRVs that struck distinct locations. This implies capacity for engaging multiple targets, aligning with the task of targeting naval groups, encompassing multiple vessels. ASBMs require advanced guidance systems to accurately track and target moving naval vessels. The Prime incorporates dual redundant navigation and guidance systems, crucial for accurate targeting, especially when engaging moving naval targets. The missile is designed for high accuracy, with a circular error probable of less than 10 meters. It's also mentioned that the missile is developed for maximum maneuverability, which could be useful for evading missile defenses and targeting specific ship components. While Agni-5, an ICBM with a range of over 7,000, has long-range strategic focus, its maneuverability against naval defenses remains uncertain. Even U.S. ballistic missiles like Minuteman 3 or Trident D-5, dedicated to counterforce roles, exhibit lesser accuracy than claimed for newer Agni missiles. The missile is stored in a hermetically sealed tandem twin canister launcher and is capable of being fired in salvo mode. This suggests potential for rapid deployment and multiple launches suitable for engaging a naval task force. Agni Prime has a new feature, a maneuverable re-entry vehicle. This refers to a warhead on a ballistic missile that can adjust its trajectory during the mid-course phase of its flight. In contrast, China's DF-21D ballistic missile, designed to target ships, has a terminally maneuverable re-entry vehicle. This can hit moving objects like aircraft carriers. A terminally maneuverable re-entry vehicle is more complex. It can change course during the terminal phase in the atmosphere to hit moving ships. However, many U.S. defense analysts doubt its effectiveness and China's claims. DF-21D's actual speed might be slower than thought. While ballistic missiles initially re-enter at Mach 8 to 15 at 50 km altitude, air resistance reduces terminal speed to around Mach 2 at 3 to 5 km. The missile can't target until then, due to ionization, leaving little time to search for ships. If detected early, the target could leave before the missile's sensors engage, and slower re-entry makes it vulnerable to interceptors. DRDO is known for a habit where they first test a missile to show its technology, and then they quickly start working on a better version. 
This happened when they talked about Agni 6, soon after testing Agni 5 only one time. Based on the technology of Agni 5, the director of DRDO even mentioned that an ASAT version of the missile is also feasible. This would involve reaching an altitude of about 800 kilometers. Agni 5 provides the necessary boosting capability, and the kill vehicle equipped with advanced seekers could accurately target and intercept a satellite. This was demonstrated in 2019, when India successfully tested its anti-SAT missile and destroyed one of its satellites. This approach might allow them to learn from each test and build upon their progress, ensuring that their missile capabilities keep evolving. In the case of pushing for Agni-6 right after a single Agni-5 test, this pattern might reflect their confidence in the advancements they've made and their eagerness to stay at the forefront of missile development. The DRDO has already finalized the design for a 1,500-kilometer range conventional ballistic missile with an anti-ship variant capable of targeting warships in the Indian Ocean. It is highly likely that the successful tests of Agni Prime have strengthened its case for a new missile. And who knows, we might see a test of a dedicated anti-ship ballistic missile by DRDO very soon.